so this is a, a quick installation video on how to uh, update the Pi AUI suite. So that includes voice command and play video and all the all the options. Most of you are probably using voice command, but there's a bunch of stuff in there with YouTube and a, uh, a couple other things. Now if you don't have one of those and you want to add them, you're going to have to go to the install script. But if you already have it, the update script will see what you have and it will update it for you. So the first thing you're going to do is go to wherever you pulled the Git repository. So uh, yours is probably in Pi AUI Suite. Mine's in AUI. So you should be at LS and see a bunch of folders and the readme and stuff. So we're going to CD into the install directory. And you should have three folders in there and they should be executable. So you see you have executable. Uh, you've got the X there. So if they're not, you're going to want to add that. So we're going to use update. So if you don't have the X's besides beside update AUI suite.sh, do chmod plus X update AUI suite.sh. And so now you're going to run update AUI suite. You have to run it as a uh, root user or with sudo privileges because if you don't, it's going to tell you you can't because of all the things it does. Um, I'm thinking about adding a prefix option for those of you who don't have root permissions, but that's in the future. So what you're going to do is run sudo update AUI suite. And the first thing it's going to do is grab a version of itself and update itself. So it updates its own update script. And that's important because that way you don't have to pull the changes. Next it's going to go through all the things. See it says updating play video. So it's going to go through each section. And right now um, I think there are five or six of them. So if you don't have play video, it's obviously not going to update play video on the man page, which is what this playvideo.8.gz is. Um, uh, an important thing is if you, if you know, want to add that, you have to go to the install script and you just select yes for play video. You can ignore everything else. It's not going to uninstall anything for you. But uh, if you want to add stuff, that's, that's where you're going to have to do it. Uh, now it's going to get the download controller. That's a way to automatically torrent things using transmission and, and some scripts I wrote. Uh, then gtext command, that's like uh, SSH or Telnet with some password and number restrictions over uh, SMS. And that's um, that's kind of like AT commands, really. Uh, then it's going to get GBAPI, that's a uh, Google Voice API, it lets you send and receive text messages. If you um, have seen my videos about sending text with only your voice and stuff like that, I, that's using voice command and GBAPI. So you can send a text message from the command line if you want. And after that it's going to get the YouTube suite. And there's a lot of stuff in the YouTube um, section. There's some new things I've added. Uh, I've got Hulu and Vimeo and some other website support included now. And I've uh, upgraded the streaming experience so you can go into Midori now and um, it doesn't replace links anymore. What it does is it replaces the actual YouTube video with a uh, play button. And if you hit play it, that, it starts streaming it over OMX player. So that's kind of nice. Um, YouTube search and all the download fast and all that are still there. So these are the new things, the YT desktop and the YTB.desktop. And it's going to register those so they uh, will work properly. But I've had people who have had, a, a couple people who have had been, been having trouble with that and I, I don't know why. So This should set up everything for you properly if you just run this script. And like I said, that one's pretty big, so there's a lot of stuff in it. Another important thing to note is that this is going to, um, it's grabbing the files from raw and putting them, the GitHub raw, and putting them right where it's supposed to be. So it's not updating your local Pi AUI suite directory. So if you custom compile things or you change scripts, you're going to have to git pull and then install them yourself. And that's pretty easy, and if you're doing that, you probably know what you're doing anyways. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, now it's getting voice command. This is what most of you are using. And there should be a new version of voice command coming out sometime very soon. Possibly the beginning of next week. Uh, version 3.0. A lot of this stuff's already in there because I push to GitHub pretty often. But I haven't documented it yet. So there's some new language support and API support in it. And uh, a couple other new things that uh, I put in. And this is a pretty painless process. You just run that command and you just sit back and wait. 
and it uh, doesn't take too long. I think this is the last file. The, this, the 8.gzs are man pages, uh, for the record. That's how I would put them in man 8. And there it is. It's done. So now you have all your stuff. And if you want to update only one package, say you only want to update um, play video, you can type play video, and there's a bunch of them in there. So it's going to go through. It's going to update itself again. And then it's only going to update play video. And I don't feel like waiting, so I'm going to control C. But yeah, that's how it works. Uh, and hopefully you don't have any questions.